Hello, I recently ran a poll on Patreon asking what to do a video of next, and this animation, originally by Bees and Bombs, was the most voted thing. So that's what I'll be coding today. Let's get started. We start with the number of bars, let's say something like 48. Then we have a 3D assembly where we'll put our bars. So we have a loop, so 4, not far. Uh, we're still far from the result, but that's irrelevant. Um, we go all the way up to n, increment at each step. Then we have our bar elements, bar. Um, and in their style attribute, we set a progress custom property. And this is going to be i over n. So this is my progress, our bars, and that's it for the structure. Now we set a width for the bars and a height for the bars. Something like this. And now let's actually set the stuff on the bar. So set the width, uh, set the height. Okay. Just give them a background so we can see them. Now you can see they're one under the other. So let's fix that. Let's make all this absolutely positioned and set transform style preserve 3D. Okay. Now that we've done this, we can collapse this. And let's just put the whole 3D assembly in the middle. So we do that with top 50% and left 50%. And something else we want to do. Now the top left corner of our bars is right in the middle. So we want to put the middle point of the bar in the middle. So we do that with a margin. And for the vertical margin is minus half the height. As for the horizontal margin is minus half the width. So yeah that too. Now for the dots at the end, so we use the before and uh, after pseudo, after pseudo elements, um, also absolutely positioned and we need to give them dimensions. So that's going to be a radius of something like this. So let's set that to padding and set content to nothing so that we can see something once we set a background. This is going to be a dummy background. Now let's make them round or the radius 50%. Okay, um, let's set a margin of minus r for now. Okay, and let's also set a top and this is going to be our calc. Um, this is going to use a switch i times 100% and left is going to be 50%. Okay, now this switch is initially zero, but then on the after we change it to one. So we change the switch value to one. That brings the dot there at the bottom. Now here I set a custom property that's a rotation around the y axis. This is going to be a calc um, that k progress times one turn. Now let's set transform uh, a rotate y. Let's use this and then uh, translate, translate. Um, let's say 1.25 the bar height and we should see something. Okay, this this doesn't look too good. So let's do a few things. So let's make the body our scene. So that's going to be perspective 35M. But before we do that, we need to set the height, make it full height. Let's also set overflow hidden. And let's also set our uh, perspective origin that's going to be in the middle horizontally uh, and then calc 50% minus I don't know the bar height something like that okay so it's starting to look like something we also set an incline angle let's say this is going to be something like this transform a uh, rotate x so that's going to be our incline angle Okay, having done this, I think I can collapse this. Let's collapse the body for now as well. 
Now here, um, and I'll be needing to reverse this. So let's say I reverse it here. So calc uh, minus one times like that. Okay. So um, I reversed it there. Transform. Uh, and here I need to um, reverse the incline. Okay, this uh, is starting to look like something. Then I'll have another angle. This is going to be calc. Um, let's say it's going to be something like 60 degrees uh, minus an offset angle, which is zero degrees initially. So here I have rotate something like this. Um, yeah, that. Okay, so it, it's starting to look like something. So what I need to do is reverse this. Um, angle this rotation so um, let's say we have something like this and here we have minus one except this doesn't look right because we've already reversed this rotation so we need to go back um, and unreverse that rotation so, unreverse that rotation, reverse this one, then reverse this one again, oh, this one, the last one, sorry, reverse this one again, so it actually looks like something. Uh, and I think I'll just uh, be switching in between, so I'll be taking this out of here. Um, and just take this. I think this is the result I actually want. Okay, so that's uh, that's good. And the next thing that I'll be doing is actually setting a background right here. And this is going to be something like an HSL, um, and it's going to use a calc here. Um, and that's going to be. I times 180. Um, then I also have plus K. So I think that should work. This actually gives me a nice HSL volume. So um, I think I think, yeah, I think that does it. It's, um, I'll just, uh, I won't be messing with uh, the HSL of that anymore. But what I will be doing is um, make sure it doesn't look so ugly there. So um, let's say here we also have one minus I times um, so this is going to be with uh, minus right here um, not quite okay so this is going to be um, obviously uh, zero oh um, yeah left margin left so just do it for that and yeah, this uh, this does it, this is good. Okay, so having done this, I think I can collapse this right here. Um, and then I'll be doing something else here. Just set a background, um, which means I won't be seeing the bars. So let's change this the background of the bars. Okay, now let's animate this offset angle. So we have keyframes, offset, 
and let's say we have something like 43%, 50%, um, offset angle is half a turn, and then we have uh, 93%, 100%, this offset angle is one turn. So here I have my animation on offset. Um, let's see. Uh, we need to also set an animation duration. Let's say something like three seconds. So offset uh, the animation duration. Let's also make it linear, infinite. And this thing is not going to work unless I register this offset. So um offset angle. So CSS register property and here I set the name then I have syntax which is basically the type so that's um, angle in this case then I have initial this is uh, zero degrees and finally, inherits true. Okay, so I've done this. And now, as you can see, they, um, they rotate. But what I really want is to have an uh, animation delay. So this is going to be calc times um, Let's see. Um, actually, I think that's minus 0.5. So, um, okay, that's, uh, I'm, I'm getting closer to something. Um, Okay, it's it's starting to get there. Actually, let's make this a percentage. Okay, uh, let's collapse the bar as well. So um. Percentage, and this is going to be a 50% times percentage. A oh, plus percentage, sorry. Okay, so let's say I'm going to make this smaller. Make this something like 5 seconds. Um... Maybe go the other way. Uh, let's see how this works. No, it's um that was the right way. So yeah, that's that's kind of it. It, it doesn't exactly have the same feel, but uh, I think it's pretty close. So um, yeah, I'll be leaving it at this. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. 
or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.